a West Michigan teacher will return from spring break next week with an extra security tool. This educator will now have a Kevlar vest in class in the wake of any school shootings. News aides Megan Bunchman sat down with the family and she's here now with a story. Megan. Michelle and Sue, teacher Julie Merrill and her husband Pat told me that they wish this wasn't their reality, but they've reached the point where they think it's best to prepare for the worst. And it's just to keep you in the fight. That's what it's for, is to keep you going so you can continue to ca can protect people. Retired Grand Rapids Police Lieutenant Patrick Merrill is more than familiar with Kevlar vest and protective gear. I was in policing for 25 years, so the idea that I would wear Kevlar body armor is just a requirement of the job, and, you know, uh, physical courage uh, is kind of an expectation of the works. So that just was kind of a given. But he never thought his old gear would need to be repurposed for his wife's kindergarten class. <laughs> The world is angry, and um, this isn't, you know, isolated to schools, but children are the most innocent. The couple started to have difficult conversations about what's next for Julie in her career. Those are ugly conversations to have, but they're realistic conversations to have. Come Monday, when classes resume after spring break, Julie will bring this Kevlar vest to her classroom, place it out of sight, and pray she'll never have to use it. Stays in the closet. It's not something I'm wearing every day, um, but if need be, then I can do what I can do to, to help my kids. We're a little bit, I guess when you think about it, we're a little bit of a microcosm of the country too, where I'm more practical and how, talking about target hardening, talking about crime prevention through environmental design, mm -hmm. talking about strategies to keep people safe in multiple states and schools. And, and Julie is more, she's going to heal every child. Well, both Julie and Patrick understand that the Kevlar vest isn't a cure for a national growing problem. We need more um, social workers. We need more, you know, mental health care and support for families. Um, that's, that's what we need because trauma doesn't start at school. They both agree that at the very least, this vest is simply an extra protective option that will not only protect her, but hopefully her students too. It's to protect your core organs. Uh, it's to keep you in the fight and keep you going. So you gotta stay focused on task. <laughs> Now, while Julie notified her school of her decision to bring the Kevlar vest into her classroom, she has not heard back. Julie asked us not to identify the school she works for because she doesn't want this to become a distraction for her students. Sue.